Asante sana Mheshimiwa Rais kwa kuweza kupokea saluti hiyo kutoka kwa bendi zetu za majeshi ya ulinzi. You've been watching the 57th Madaraka Day. This is a special day, having been marked at State House, and practically virtually every Kenyan has been gluing their eyes on the screen into history, lifting from, of course, literature all the way from Facing Mount Kenya by Jomo Kenyatta and also Jaramogi Odinga's uh, book uh, as well. And uh, he's reminding Kenyans, yes, in this dark moment that we are living in, we need also to recall the voices of the forefathers who were telling us we should be our very best in this darkest moment. They went through fire so that we can have a good foundation as a nation. He's also laudably spoken of healthcare workers and innovative ways uh, on the way students have come up with customized uh, uh, ventilators to help the healthcare sector as it is also severely uh, been adversely affected by COVID-19 as it is when it comes to equipment as well. Security personnel have been also uh, praised by the president. The president also has reminded us of the seven social scenes where he's recollected what Frederick Lewis Donaldson said when he delivered his sermon at Westminster, London on March the 25th, that is uh, 1925, uh, where he talked about wealth without work, pleasure without conscience, knowledge without character, uh, commerce or commerce without morality, science without humanity, worship without sacrifice, and of course, politics without principle. So he's also talked on politics a bit. And we have our panelists that we've been uh, following this particular address with uh, right from the beginning. I've been holding court and I still have them in studio. This is Professor Peter Kagwanja, uh, who is the CEO and founder of Africa Policy Institute. Also, we have Martin Olo, who is an advocate of the High Court and also a lecturer at the Kenya School of Law. Let's just begin with you, uh, Peter Kagwanja, on this. Uh, your big asks, your big wins, uh, what do you think that the, the president uh, did not deliver and, and what did he deliver? Hmm. Let me start by saying that um, <clears throat> I, I did edit the, the president's speeches. You did edit? Yes, from the 9th of April to August 8th, uh, 2017, mm -hmm. in one book. And of all that, I think the greatest speech was the 9th April speech. 9th April 2013, mm -hmm. his inaugural speech. The inaugural speech, yes. I think this one is competing with this one, with that one. This might be his best speech ever, mm -hmm. uh, the one he has just made today. And I want to say that because of a number of, uh, a number of things. One, that this speech was very factual and historical. Yes. Two, it was also polemical. He did not pull punches where he thinks he needed to punch straight. Right, right, right. Three, it is deeply, deeply philosophical in the sense that uh, whether you are a scholar, you are a pedestrian, you understand where he's coming from and where he's going. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of the take-home messages, uh, he put Kenya back to reality that, uh, by uh, a number of messages. One, that Kenya is work in progress. Don't mark his exam like this is the end of the world. He's one of the many people who are building Project Kenya. 